In previous tutorials, I demonstrated how you can create your own patterns in Illustrator by creating a single tile that can be repeated over and over again to create a seamless pattern. In this tutorial, though, I want to show you how you can actually use that pattern to apply it to objects in Adobe Illustrator. So getting started here, as you can see, I have this pattern that we created in our previous tutorial. I just want to click and drag over all of that and make sure it's grouped together by pressing Control G. And then I'm going to move this off to the side. Then I want to open up the swatches menu. So come up here to where it says window and look for swatches right there. And with the swatches menu open, I'm just going to take this object and click and drag it into the swatches menu like that. And it's going to add it as a new pattern swatch, as you can see right there. It may be difficult to see, but it should be right about there. Now, in order to fill an object with that pattern, let's go ahead and create an object now. I'm going to grab this star over here just as an example. I'm going to click and drag on the canvas to create a star. And with the, uh, with the shape selected, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that swatch right there, that pattern swatch, and it's going to apply it to the object there, as you can see. Now, if you want to scale down this pattern so that we can see more of the design in there, what you can do is you can right click on the object and go to transform and look for scale. Now what you want to do is deselect scale corners, deselect scale strokes and effects, and deselect transform objects. You only want to have transform pattern selected, and this will allow you to transform the pattern. What you could do now is where it says uniform, click on that, triple click on the 100% uh, right here, and then just roll up and down with your mouse wheel to, to um, scale it up or down. If you notice, rolling down the mouse wheel makes the pattern smaller. Rolling up the mouse wheel makes the pattern larger like that, as you can see. Now, if you want to scale the object itself without scaling the pattern, you can do the inverse of this. So let me set that back to 100%. And I want to come over here and I want to select Transform Object, Scale Strokes and Effects, Scale Corners, and then Deselect Transform Patterns. And now what you can do is you can do the same thing. Now you notice I'm scaling the object without scaling the pattern, as you can see there. So let me just reset this real quick. I want to scale the pattern down so I can show you how to do the same thing when it comes to rotating and shearing. I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to click OK to apply the changes. Now if you want to rotate the pattern inside of the object without rotating the object itself, you can right click it and go to transform and go to rotate. And what you can do here is you can do the same thing. You can just rotate your pattern like that by rolling up and down the mouse wheel as you see here. And this works for all of the other transformations as well. Let me cancel that. Let me right click, go to transform. And if you notice, you can move the pattern, you can rotate it, you can reflect it, scale it, and shear it. And there you go. That's how you can go about doing that. Now, if you just use the regular scaling handles like this, it scales the object along with the pattern like that. But if you want to scale the object independent of the pattern, just right click it and go to transform. And the same is true if you want to scale the pattern independent of the object. So that is how you can go about applying a pattern to an object using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.